Who doesn't like a quick energizing drink on an exhausting day? Feast your eyes on Prime, the newest sports drink hitting the market from the coattails of star influencers slash YouTubers KSI and Logan Paul. The rising star drink has won over the hearts and taste buds of consumers all over the globe, but as famous as Prime is, it isn't immune to controversies. In this video, we're going to tackle all of Prime's rise to fame and all the controversies surrounding every step it took to get there. If you were ever on the fence about Prime, this might just confirm your suspicions. KSI and Logan Paul are two influencers who found their home in YouTube. You may know KSI for his multiple React videos or sketches with the famous British content creator crew, Sidemen. As for Logan Paul, well, you may know him from such controversies as his Japan vlogs or even his more recent crypto zoo scam. These two YouTubers have butted heads with each other in the past before, but this all came to a roaring crescendo when KSI and Logan Paul met in the boxing ring to settle their differences. But not all rivalries have to end in ruin because mere months after the boxing match, on December 28th, 2021, KSI and Logan Paul would first announce their first ever sports drink brand, Prime. This sudden shift from haymakers to handshakes caught everyone's attention, and the world was eager to see how the drink would taste and perform in the market. Down the aisles. Oh my. Something that they wouldn't be waiting long for. Prime officially launched its first drink bottles on January 8, 2022, accommodating both online and physical store orders. The products were met with raving reviews, and the products went by as quickly as they were stocked. The drink was, as expected, met with much speculation, because really, how could a drink by a YouTuber be good? What could they possibly know about formulating sports drinks? Thankfully, the formulation and distribution was left at the very capable hands of a United States-based company, Congo, with only KSI and Logan Paul overseeing production and marketing of the product. KSI and Logan Paul's concept for the drink was to provide an optimal hydration source for athletes without having to skimp on the flavor, and Congo delivered that in spades. Prime sells two products, Prime Energy and Prime Hydration. It's important to know the difference between the two as you may be reaching for a drink that you can't handle. Prime Energy contains caffeine and electrolytes closely resembling energy drink brands such as Monster Energy or Red Bull. Great for adults or athletes on the go looking for an extra burst of energy. Prime Hydration, on the other hand, supposedly contains no caffeine, but with all the electrolyte hydration goodness of Prime Energy. These two products can be easily distinguished by their packaging as well. With Prime Energy being canned and Prime Hydration being bottled, Prime has also released a powdered form of their hydration line, packaged in sachets and ready to be mixed with water. Prime Energy offers a wide range of flavors, but alas, not all flavors are made equally. The two most notable flavors are their Lemon Lime and Tropical Punch, both of which are tangy and sweet, much like a soda rather than an energy drink. As for everything else in the Prime Energy flavor lineup, it's prime time for this energy drink. Unless you're feeling adventurous, I would suggest just waiting on a restock of Lemon Lime and Tropical Punch. Prime Hydration, on the other hand, offers a wider range of flavors, all of which are described to be syrupy, sweet juice drinks that are enough to make you do double takes on the nutrition label. The notable flavors for Prime Hydration include Ice Pop and Lemon Lime, although really it all comes down to what your taste buds prefer, so you could never go wrong trying any other flavor. But with all these delicious syrupy flavors, you would think that Prime's sugars must be through the roof, right? Surprisingly enough, it isn't. Prime ranks near the bottom in terms of actual calorie count and sugar, making it one of the more healthy sports drink brands out there. The secret? The use of natural sweeteners and electrolytes in the drink. This mellow sweetness makes the drink sweet but not overwhelming, making it a favorite amongst athletes. I think it's safe to say that Prime has definitely reached its prime time, pun very much intended. Of course, the fanfare among fans of KSI and Logan Paul is to be expected because this is still basically just merch for the two YouTube stars. But the marketing for the product has only made its reach to consumers outside of the fandom, particularly athletes. Prime's most notable sponsorship comes from Arsenal FC, one of the more notorious football clubs in the UK. Because of these sponsorships, you'd find consumers who have absolutely no knowledge of KSI and Logan Paul with a Prime drink in their hand after a long workout or even just for leisure. 
But with all the skepticism on the product's formulation, there had to be one more marketing strategy that can convince the haters. Drink comparisons. Logan Paul and KSI have done videos comparing the nutritional values of their prime drink of choice to other known sports drinks. Triumphing over big brands in terms of nutritional value, having a low-calorie drink be more flavorful was enough to convince even the most stubborn of doubters. Truly, this aggressive marketing strategy is to thank for the drink's popularity, constantly churning out viral product visibility whenever they can. Turn on the TV and you might spot a NASCAR racing car with the Prime logo written on the hood. Next channel, it may be Logan Paul in WrestleMania chugging down a Prime hydration drink. Or even doing something as simple as scrolling through YouTube or TikTok and seeing your favorite influencer find their Prime hydration flavor. Now, Prime's rise to prime time may be one for the books, but this quick rise to fame comes with a more proportional controversy. If you've got kids, chances are they're prime mad. The energy drinks are flying off the shelves and are a collector's item. Yes, that's right. Prime energy and prime hydration are being banned from multiple schools across the globe, which is bad considering that both KSI's and Logan Paul's demographic age range, from young adults to teens who are still in school, this is brought on by two major reasons, one more sensible than the other. The first reason, caffeine content. No matter how much you convince a child to drink only the caffeine-free prime hydration drink, they're bound to mix that up with energy. As in common sense, caffeine and the weak developing hearts of children do not mix well, so schools have preemptively banned the consumption of any prime drink. Banned it. Your school banned it? It's probably online. Why did they ban it? Because everyone, everyone sells them at school. For the health of their students. It's hard to say no to your favorite influencer, especially when it's being endorsed on all the popular social media platforms. Like Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, this reason is understandable and not really worth writing about. Any overly caffeinated drink should rightfully be banned from distribution in schools and to minors. The real meat of the story comes with the second reason. The second reason why prime hydration and energy has been banned from schools is that the students have begun actively hustling the drink out at a higher price. With prime hydration constantly going out of stock in any store that decides to stock them, consumers have clamored and stepped over each other just to get a bottle. No, it's not just because they're obsessed with the flavor and hydrating effects of prime, but it's because they want to make a profit out of it. Some bottles are even resold at three times the price online. Reason? purely clout. If you had a hydration bottle in your hands at recess, lunch, or even a TikTok video, then you'd be the talk of the campus. This hustle culture has led to teachers and faculty of schools discovering students that carry around bottles upon bottles of prime hydration just to sell at a higher price in the playground. Some teachers have also claimed that whatever allowance was given to their children has gone to buying these rare colored prime hydration bottles. And they put him in a room with a toy and exactly the same toy behind a perspex. Rather than anything actually filling. This was the last straw for multiple schools, eventually announcing the banning of the drink within school grounds. Money really does make you do some absurd things, huh? And that's the reason why Prime Hydration has been banned from multiple schools. A reason we, nor the creators of Prime, could have seen coming. Still, there is a lot that KSI and Logan Paul can learn from the effects of their marketing strategy, especially considering the age demographic of their audience. But honestly speaking, as participants of the hustle culture themselves, it seems highly unlikely that they will even acknowledge the controversy. Any publicity should be good publicity, right? So what about your favorite Prime Hydration flavor? Any experiences with a Prime Scalper? Sound off on the comments below and tell us about it. Thanks for watching.